Hey there, this is Elizabeth with Bloom Website Design. Thank you so much for the opportunity to work with you and for trusting me with your business. I just wanted to get in a little bit about how I work and the strategy that I put into the websites that I build, just so you know a little bit more about me and how the process works and what you can expect. So the way I work is I treat every business like my own. I know the struggle that it takes to cross over that line and go 100% with your business, whether that's setting up your website for the first time or redesigning your website to match current marketing trends, making sure your website is positioned well in Google with Google keyword search and SEO, or whether that's just making sure that it looks modern and updated. Um, all of my websites are based around this dynamic homepage that I've kind of created um, that I use throughout all of my websites, no matter what industry it is, whether you're a wedding photographer, whether you're a business with 100 employees in the tech space, um, entrepreneur, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, this dynamic homepage is geared to once you have someone on your site, you've earned that traffic there on your website, the whole point of your homepage is to get them interested in the other pages of your site. So the whole page whole point is when they land on your site, they should know exactly what you do and why and how you're going to solve their problem. And you should really interest them because you have a couple seconds before they're going to bounce. You know, there's so much, there is so much competition in, on the web and the web is so saturated that it's not enough to have a pretty website anymore. You need a pretty website with that strategy. So the whole strategy is once someone gets on that site, within that first, they call it the above the fold, right? Within that first couple of seconds, they should know what you do. So your picture needs to match your industry. Your logo should stand out. So a little, a little tip and trick that I use, it is, it is documented and kind of known that people read, one of the ways that they read on a website is like a Z. So they're gonna start here. So usually you want your logo there so it goes across to your navigation, which your navigation should match, right? And it goes down through your banner and then across again. So that's where you wanna have that beautiful call to action, that headline that sums up what you do as they kind of go down your page in that first above the fold section. So as they go down, the next really important thing is social proof. So we all justify our purchases now, right? We go onto Google to make sure that restaurant has five stars on Google versus having two stars. We, we look, I don't know if we do this as much, but Yelp, big reason why Yelp is successful because it validated our purchases and what we were doing. So we wanna have that social proof right off the bat. So whether that's logos of people we've worked with, a couple testimonials, um, video testimonials, whatever that is, you want that really close towards the top. So those are, the top two really important factors in it. And then as you go, it kind of pertains to your industry. So whether it's a summary of some of your services that click through to the next page, a little bit about, so you can begin to grow that know, like, and trust in your audience. Um, but the whole idea is to have minimal text, bold headlines, so it's easy to read, easy to flow through. So by the time they get down that whole homepage, which when I say whole homepage, it's kind of brief, summaries of all the sections on your site. So whether you have a blog or a shop or you know your Instagram feed, if social media is really important to you in your business, um, whatever all those different, I call them the navigation titles that send you to the other pages in your site, you wanna make sure you kind of hit each one of those as you go down. So that's, that's the dynamic homepage. The goal is to get someone to read through, have options for them to click through, and once they click through to the other pages in your site, you, you have them, they're, they're interested, they're willing to read more, so you can have more text heavy pages, more content heavy pages, because you already kind of have them, they're warm and they're interested. So that's the dynamic homepage, that's, that's what I try and hit home the hardest, whether it's redesigning a site or making a brand new site, because it is so important with that first impression that you get with your hard earned traffic, because whether you're running ads or growing organically, depending on your budget, those, that traffic that you're getting is so important. So that kind of leads me into the strategy of how we work together. So that build out phase is very important, but we're gonna back up to the first phase. So that first phase is kind of a content generation, depending on where you're at. You know, if you already have a website up and we're just redesigning, that's totally cool. This might be more of a me getting to know your business kind of phase. 
Um, but if you are brand new, I have a new client questionnaire that will really help you kind of get in the right mind frame and mindset of what your clients are looking for with their problem coming to you. So it's a pretty lengthy questionnaire, but it'll really help you develop the content in the rest of your website. So the first phase is content gathering and getting information and kind of building up the framework together. So what, what are the name titles of the pages? What's going in those um, kind of minimal structure. And then once we're good on that, all of our content's ready to go. Phase two is the build out, which does not take me super long because phase one is going to be setting us up for success. So phase two is the design build out. And in my intro letter, I said that I communicate a lot and frequently and I check in with you throughout the whole process. This is where I'm gonna be checking in the most. So as I'm building out your pages, I'm gonna be checking in with you to make sure, hey, do you like the placement of this? Does this font look okay? Do you like the colors? Whatever your site needs, we're gonna be building according to what you like and I'm going to check in and make sure we're on the right track. So that whole phase will be the design build out and we don't finish that phase until you're happy. So a common question I get is how many revisions can I get on my site? Well, I don't put a number on revisions because we communicate so much in this process and as long as we're both communicating and getting that constructive feedback so I can build the right way, revisions are going to be minimal. The only thing I ask is that if you are looking for feedback from other people, a business partner, keep that number of people limited because everyone kind of has their own idea of what a website should look like in their own personal style. And that's when feedback gets a little bit tricky. And if I'm having to redesign the website over and over and over to meet other people's needs, it's just not gonna be a very fluid process and it's creating extra work and I might have to charge you a little bit more. So that whole process, we're communicating, that's phase two, designs build out, you love it, it's perfect. Phase three is when I'm going to be connecting all the buttons, connecting all your links, building all the links out. If say you have something that you need to link out to a payment collection or subscription or membership site, whatever that is for you, all those links will be built out and it'll be all the back end as well. So your SEO is going to be set up. You know, Squarespace works really hard for you. We have to do some things in place to make sure that you're set up for success and that all of your SEO is going to look right on Google. So it's all kind of the back end kind of admin stuff. I like to say, just making sure everything looks good, cleaned up. Um, everything's linked page titles look right. All that kind of techno babble stuff, um, which leads us to phase four, which is what I would, what I would call is the most valuable part of this whole experience. Um, I know you chose Squarespace because people said it was easy to manage. Maybe you tried working on it and it was too confusing or you couldn't figure out certain parts, you couldn't get the exact look that you want, or you just don't have the time and energy to do that because you're working on other things in your business. Whatever the case is, I build your site meant to be simple for you to manage. So I don't use any code, I don't do any custom CSS, everything is meant to be super easy for you once I hand it over to you. The way that the site is built, how everything is placed, is strategic for you to be able to manage or the person on your team that's managing. So when on this fourth phase, I have a screen share teaching session with you, it'll be 30 minutes, I record it, and this is your opportunity for you, for me to give you a 101 class on Squarespace or a 101 on what you can do to edit your site the most simply. So if you're, if you're blogging and the only thing that's changing on your site is your new blog articles, I'll spend those 30 minutes showing you how to upload the blogs, what you need to do to tag it, and maybe even push it to your Facebook and Instagram, whatever that looks like for you. That is your time. Um, if you're pretty comfortable in Squarespace, this is a great opportunity to use that time to ask me questions. Whether you have questions about how to set yourself up best for Google keyword search so that you're more visible, or um, if there's some design things that you always wondered about, whatever that is for you, or whatever your next steps are, whatever that looks like for you, it is your time to utilize me as the expert in Squarespace to help you further your business. Um, the whole goal here is to get you set up with a strategic site that looks beautiful and professional and looks the way you want it to look, but it's also very strategic. We work really hard, again, to get our traffic, and I want that site to work very hard for you because if you just build a website, people are not automatically going to come. It's very rare that that happens. It's not a new web anymore. It's saturated, it's full. So there's a lot of necessary steps that you need to take, even if you are trying to grow organically. It's, it's enough to have a presence, 
so you can give out your, your URL and have people find you for that validation and learn more about you. But you have to take those next steps to make sure it's strategic and set up right because you are investing money in it and this is your, your baby, right? This is your business and this is what your, your purpose is and how you want to serve other people and solve their problems. So it's, we just want to make sure that we get it set up 100% correct. You know how to utilize it. And then when you're ready for the next steps in your business, whether that's email campaigns or building out you know, landing pages to match the ads that you're ready to run on Instagram or Google or YouTube or wherever direction you're going to go with that, the site will be ready for your next step. So it's ready to grow with you because Squarespace is wonderful. That's why we picked it. That's why we use it. That's how, why I found Squarespace many, many years ago and why I started developing on it because it's meant to grow with you and the the improvements and updates they make are wonderful. Um, once you're a client of mine, you'll be on my email list and I will be sending um, probably monthly emails just with some updates of things that you might need to know and how you can grow Squarespace too or how that can affect your business. But enough about that. I just wanted to kind of give you the lay of the land a little bit just so you know uh, what I'm all about, how I help, how I work, and just help inform you to the best that I can because I know it's a big decision and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Um, if you are ready to schedule a discovery call with me and we can talk a little bit deeper about what your site needs are in order for me to custom quote you. Um, there is a button below this video that you can click and it'll take you to my acuity scheduling page and you can pick a time to set up a uh, discovery call with me and I'd be so happy to talk about your business, learn where you're at, what you want to do, what your objective is and how we can bring all that into a new or redesigned website for you and you can go crush it with business and just ultimately make you more money because that's what we're here for. So um, again, button is down below if you want to schedule a discovery call. It should be about 10-15 minutes. It won't take up too much of your time. We'll just learn a little bit more about each other and I look forward to you know speaking to you then. Again, thank you for trusting me with your business. I'm Elizabeth with Bloom and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.